Alright you lot, how's it going? Today's video is going to be the full process of the painting from my dimensions video, which if you haven't seen it I will have linked on screen and in the DB for you as well. Uh, it's a bit different from my usual thing but I loved making it and I think it really sort of helps to show the background of how this painting came about and the inspiration for it and all that. But yeah basically um, Dimensions was the music festival I went to in Croatia and I came home really in the mood to create and do something a bit out of my comfort zone, work on a bigger scale, darker colours and in acrylics. So I started out with this lovely murky background, this blue is one of my favourite colours so I wanted it to have a sort of dreamy smoky look to it so I just made sure to be really loose with different shades of the same blue, mainly just kind of mushing it together while it was still wet like you saw just then. I considered taking more of a swirling approach but I didn't want it to look too neat or clean so you can see what I mean with how it looks now. And then I just did a quick wash of the rest of that colour over the unpainted parts of the canvas. I don't really know why, mainly I think because it just makes those bare spots less harsh and white and bare. Then moving on to the skin, I wanted to keep it quite basic in terms of detail so I started out with one flat colour and then just added a bit of shade in the areas that needed it and then I added this pinkish light just to introduce a suggestion of this sort of soft neon-y light source. I always think that some kind of direct or indirect lighting helps to give a piece of art a little bit more depth and a little bit more interest and then of course um, that more intense white blue light that's coming from the floating cube thing. Speaking of which, I really tried my best to avoid having to paint over the guidelines I'd laid out for myself but it, was, it just wasn't working out and I was kind of making more work for myself so in the end I had to just paint over it and then see if I could put it back just as neatly and in the right place as it had originally been. And it was a bit of a struggle and my camera actually died during the many attempts but I got there in the end. But yeah, by this point it was getting dark so starting up again the next day, it was a much gloomier day, but don't worry, the video will brighten up soon. Wow, that's really dark. I think it was like pouring down with rain at this point. Uh, but yeah, I'm relatively pleased with the hands. I know they could be better, but they do at least resemble hands, which is pretty good for me. And then with the face, I really just tried to get all those different light sources coming in at different angles. Um, that thing on her face, by the way, is like one of those dust masks that builders wear. A lot of people were wearing these at the festival just because, I mean, outside all the floors were all rubbly and like this dust was just getting everywhere, and especially with like people dancing and kicking it up, and then that walk from the beach up to the main stages. Like after you come home at the end of a night, you literally would blow your nose and like this build up of black dirt would come out. But yeah, it kind of created this weird fashion of people wearing bandanas over their faces and stuff, which was actually pretty cool. Um, I don't have that much else to say. Uh, I'd love to know if you guys would like to see more of that type of behind the scenes, you know, what inspired this painting type of video. And yeah, it's been a while since I asked you what other kinds of videos you'd like to see, so let me know. I always love hearing your suggestions. Uh, other than that, um, what you don't get to see with the rest of this painting is that right at the end I just neatened it up with like some white and black details, which I just did in the middle of the night because it was bothering me that it didn't look finished. And that did help just to bring it all together. And that's about it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Have a great weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye.